Everybody was kung fu fighting. Yeah. Wah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those cats were fast as lightning. Meow. Wah. Meow, meow. <laughs> Thought that was a different way Little to bring bit us in. frightening. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's yeah. great. That will never, that will never put, not put a smile on my face hearing that song. That's one of the greatest hits of our generation. What? Ha- who sung that? Of any generation. Who, who was the band who did that? Uh, I believe it was Kung Fu Panda, wasn't it? No, that was a film. He should have. They should have done a remake of that song for the, for that film. Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Mm. Everybody was Kung Fu Panda. Ha ha. Okay. Don't have sex with me, cause I'm a panda. I don't like Ooh, to repro- 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 reprocreate. You were touching the chair that's resting on the light. I was being a panda. Yeah. Don't don't break when I'm being a panda. It's You've rude. Got to be careful. Hello, those. everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Tom and Frenchie podcast, episode one hundred and something. <laughs> I thought you were confident. Konnichiwa, boko no maiwa Tom des. Boko no da Tom des. Say your name's also Tom. <laughs> it's also in wow. Japanese. The Tom and Tom in podcast. In Japanese, I'm known as Tom. Wow. Hello, governors, and hello to our Polish listeners. Mm. We have not said hello to you ever, I believe. Yeah, so... It'd be good to do lots greeting. of pole jokes in Poland. Yeah, like, are you a pole dancer? Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah, no, that, I'll, yeah, I'll okay. allow it. I'll that's allow just a regular it. dancer over there. Because what you do is just get, like, any pole, mm. put it on the ground, and then you go, hey, guys, pole land. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like classic. I, I reckon that'd get a round of applause. They would never get sick of that. They would like they that. They would never get sick of What's that. What's Poland famous for? I can't think of it. Apart from Poles, Apart obviously. from Poles, yeah. I'm pretty sure getting invaded first in World mm. War II, which is not the worst claim to flame. Claim to flame, I can't yeah. speak today. I've already done it a few <laughs> times. No, but I'm saying, would you rather get invaded first or last? That's a good question. First, you got a bit of time to get used to it. You're like, oh, fuck. There we I'd go. I prefer like... And then you can heal, turn quick, be like, okay, we're on your side now. Whereas if you fight yeah. them for ages and then they invade you, you're like, fuck. Okay, I'd prefer be hard not to. first because then I could like shove my diamonds up my asshole. You don't have you know, time get for prepped. the diamond shoving. Yes. Yeah, you can get prepped. You can hide your treasure. Shit like that. Yeah, I don't even think of my yeah. diamonds in the yeah, asshole. I've got a lot of treasures. I often have them already in the asshole. Yeah. If it's a dangerous neighborhood, you obviously... Well, sometimes I like to practice or like I'll go, Tonya, we're getting invaded. We just start shoving stuff up our assholes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you go for? Anything that's close, like stools. Old stool. <laughs> so not yeah. like valuable stones. Everything's valuable, isn't it? <laughs> you know? I don't know. I think s- stools aren't as valuable. Yeah. I don't think... I think you just wanted to do that. I don't I think that have. was yeah. war prep. It wasn't the worst. I don't think that was war prep. Mm. You need something that would survive in a war currency that to to shove up True. your your rect. Well, you don't have to shove it up. If you have got a better hiding spot, let us know. Um, Maybe uh, you shove like a thin pole up your ass and then just cigarettes down the pole. Because <laughs> you know, in jail, they're always the way. You would get so sick if that nicotine leaked leaked into your. That's anus. what the poles for first. It's like a little capsule. Yeah, but what? Oh, so it's a closed pole at the end. Mm. It's not an open pole <laughs> where you ask him to smoke a cigarette. Yeah, that's right. That would be funny watching an ass smoke a cigarette. Mm. I can't believe I haven't seen that yet. You know, because like I feel that's like definitely a thing. at those ping pong shows. Yeah. Cigarette, uh, pussy I'd rather see a pussy smoke a cigarette than I'm sure That's they do cool. that. I'm sure they do it. That's actually cool. Then putting a fish up there, like, come on. Imagine if you were in a puff puff pass circle, <laughs> and it was like a joint. You know how some people are like sloppy, and they'll give you like a sloppy yeah. one. You're like, yeah. oh, you slopped all over it, but it's a pussy before you. Just like this wet ass pussy. This wet ass <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so oh. fun. But she does it with a heap straight face. Not like everyone watches. Just like real just casual. Cash, yeah. Real cash. Just like pulls the knickers she's to the been side. Doing just like not a big show. She's been doing <laughs> her kegels. She is. You You gotta. You just got to respect the strength of the, the pussy muscles if they can smoke a cigarette from that. True. I'll tell you what always impresses me. Those dudes who lift weights with their balls. Have you seen them? Before? Never seen that. Mm, that's a thing. That's Ball weight lifting. Not, have not searched that before. Mm. I don't know how... Well, Many rabbit holes you need to go down to find ball weightlifting. I was trying to get my nuts longer. <laughs> you know? And you couldn't wait for gravity to do its job. That's right. Yeah. So I was like, how do I speed up the process? Yeah, you get weird looks at the gym, I'll tell you And what, what was the top three ways to get your nuts longer? Um, one was uh, shoving it in a drawer and running backwards. <laughs> that, wasn't, that was a messy one. <laughs> the second one, obviously, weights. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the third one is time travel, which was a bit difficult. Okay. Mm, so the time travel, going through the warp actually makes them drop a little bit. Oh, okay. It's the only thing that ages. But do you... So if you're going through like a time time travel hole, do you try to keep your body on one side and the balls on the other? Does if that help? Can, if you can tuck them up, are, are you, can you do that? Up. You can push your nuts up and Oh, I've done it before. I don't yeah. try to do it. Yeah, you, that's what you want to do. Girls don't often know this. You can push your nuts up into yourself. Into your like skin yeah, at, at near your pubes. I heard that like warriors used to do it so you couldn't get kicked in the nuts. That's really smart. But I feel like you could really just front stomp. Yeah, I feel like that that's would still be heaps getting. worse. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> pitching it now, Tom. That's not a smart warrior. And that's no. like back, that's what's so funny. Back in the day, it wasn't the smartest man who would lead the village. It was just the strongest. So, so many tribes must have just done the dumbest shit because this guy's like, yo, <laughs> everyone tuck your balls up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that, those would have been scary ass days. Like, I guess I'm going to die today because I'm a man. Yeah, but you don't think about it. That That's what's so good is that in those days, you don't have the fear of uh, the 21st century pussies. Cobra Kai. What is it? No no fear. No fear, no hesitation. Strike first. Strike first. No mercy. Not going to lie, Frenchie. I watched the third episode of that. And while I was watching, I was like, fuck, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. You're an idiot. <laughs> you just don't get karate. <laughs> and that's okay. It wasn't good. It is so good. It's The storylines it so are so good. shit. That's why it's so funny. It's so shit. It's good. <laughs> Do you not like it? I didn't like it. Oh. I have I haven't watched it all. It it's was only the third. It's the app, Mighty really. Ducks of our generation. Yeah, I don't know. But I liked it because it was so shit and they had all the original actors and it was just like <laughs> all karate jokes. <laughs> maybe I was just in a good mood for it. I don't know. I don't know. You're a simple man, maybe that's I am a simple I mean. man. So to coming up on the podcast, guys, we have got the biggest show. Of the week. Wow. Mm. Yeah. These will get you nuts nice and low. Spoilers. Upcoming, we have uh, a story about how we almost got a P.O. box. It's riveting. Yeah, well, we probably won't mention that. What we else we is almost got one. But that kind of was the whole... Yeah. What else is coming up, Tom? Um, Last week, we didn't get too many trending topics, but this week... You're going to get at least two. <laughs> we give the Chomsky comedy update. Oh, Are we fuck. still getting cyberbullied? Yeah, fuck. Um, we also got the... We forgot to talk about the guy with the taser. Oh, yeah. If you don't follow my videos, uh, you won't know about this, but if you do... Uh, the Tuesday night show... The, you were there that show? Yes. Uh, some dude brought a taser. That's all. That's the whole story. Do, do you want to... Let's just go into it. Because so this guy was in the crowd, right? Pretty w- rough looking. The first thing Frenchie noticed was Hawaiian shirt under high vis. Yeah, and they, I didn't realise at the time but all the comments spoke was Australia post high is. Oh. So possibly a postman. Did you just out his job? Well, it's all the YouTube comments comment uh. about him. Possibly a postman. And he was uh, Jamie Oliver cooked, as we say. Mm. He stunk like a homeless he person. Was, yes. He had stink lines. <laughs> He claimed it. He mentioned it, but <laughs> fuck, it was prominent. Lines coming out yeah. of him, one of those dudes. Yeah, like a cartoon. And he was a very lovable character. Mm. He was a very. There were some fucking moments. You guys serenaded the audience at one stage. Yeah, I got and him he up had for this a song. <laughs> angelic voice. <laughs> Are you gonna make a video out of that? That was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, there's on the long YouTube video we go oh, into can the whole it. thing, and oh, so I was cool. like, "You want to do a song together?" He's like, "Yeah, of course." So he comes up. Oh, he, good. I'm glad you included he, he that. He waddles that was, that up, and something. we're like, "We need some topics." And someone said Justin Bieber, and the other one said Snails because he had a. He was like, <laughs> "I'll do an impression." <laughs> snails, oh, lovely snails. He went like all deep and fucking strange. Well, man. he did it. He had a stand-up set prepared that he'd done, <laughs> and it was all about how he put snails on Hot Wheels cars or skateboards, and then um put them on a Hot Wheels track and then put them into his neighbor's yard. Uh, they flew off and did flips. Anyway, so the song was about snails and we did it to the tune of Justin Bieber's Baby. Baby. Right. And that's why I was like, I was like, snaily, snaily, snaily. And he did his real, snaily, snaily, snaily. And basically he goes, um, I'm from the sunny coast, so I don't come into the city very often. 
So I brought a taser. And we're like, bro, this is like a pretty hipster area. What are you going to taser? Like if your fucking latte is not hot enough, you taser it a bit of temperature. It's not Western Sydney, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It's not even... Fuck. That's funny though. I remember when I used to come to Sydney from like Canberra mm. and I'd be like a bit scared. Like I'd put my wallet in the front pocket because I thought someone would take my wallet. Front pocket, yeah. bitch. Yeah, yeah that's, you know, a, that's the, a beta move. Yeah. Front pocket, boys. And it's beta. Yeah, beta. Beta is what you are to oh, How do you spell it? <laughs> B-E-T-A. So it'd be better. No, that's better electrical. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting confused. Okay. So anyway, this guy was an absolute <laughs> character. character. Yeah, randomly he's like, I've got a taser. Can I tase you and you can tase me? I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that, dude. He's like, okay, I'll tase myself. I'm like, yeah, sick. And the whole time we didn't think it was a real taser. I did. And it was real. Yeah. It was not legal. He kind of bitched out on the tase. Yeah, he could have tased himself harder. I thought that too. I think it is hard to tase yourself because like everything in your brain's like, this is something you shouldn't do. It's also hard because I didn't want to peer pressure him too much yeah. in case he got seriously hurt. I tried, I went up to him in the crowd and I go, can you pretend to have a heart attack so Frenchie gets real scared? And <laughs> I would have got scared. He wouldn't, have, he wouldn't do it, but it would have been a good moment. I would have got scared. Yeah. But at least he did both arms. I, le- I respect that because the first one was just so like, he's like, it burnt me. I'm like... I didn't. Um, but yeah, so that's quite illegal. Oh yeah, he got in trouble. You can't just take a fucking taser to a pub. But, but, but Tasers but are illegal in general. Funniest was, so I talked to the man straight after that, the manager comes down and she's like, yo, is that an actual taser? I'm like, oh, if the cops ask, no. She's like, we got to get rid of that because you can't have a taser yeah. in a pub. I'm like, yeah, fair. I didn't know it was a real one. I thought it was just talking shit. Good try. No, nah, but I didn't know it was a real, real taser. No, nah, you did though, didn't you? And so I go, I go to him, I go, DJ, man, you got to go, you got a taser, we got to get it out of the pub. He goes, oh, don't worry, my mum's got it now. Mm. I go, what? He goes, yeah, my mum came halfway through, and so she took the taser off me after I went on stage. <laughs> 40-year-old man. <laughs> That was, you get some loose <laughs> And then minutes. the mum was so nice. She's like, oh, I'll just pop outside and wait for him so he can finish the show. I'm like, oh, I think he probably should go with the taser, I think. Mm. I think it's <laughs> it's enough. We got we got the video. Yeah. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for that, DJ. True. But it was, it was just a good fun. It was a good fun vibe. Oh, great. It was a it's like the perfect crowd work. Find a fucking nutter. Yeah, he just did it all. I didn't even have to do nothing. Mm. Sometimes you got to really work them. You gotta work them, Tom. Work them. Work them. Work them and jerk them. But yeah, if you guys are there, still tickets available if they want to come see Frenchie five more and shows. Tom's gonna be doing everyone. Um, we got some same guests, but it, yeah, there's still some tickets. I don't know. <laughs> Sell them very fast, very fast. So get involved if you want. If you're around Sydney, yeah. What else has been going on? I heard you went ghost hunting. I'm just still upset that you didn't like Cobra Kai. Well. It was pretty shit. You thought it was going to be about a cobra, didn't you? About snakes. But it's so shit, it's good. Hmm. I reckon it's just so shit, it's shit. <laughs> I just don't think you like karate. It definitely is something for me. I loved it. Yeah. I bought two karate outfits, guys. <laughs> <laughs> two, would, not one. I, would fucking I got a black this. one and a white one. I know that that's going to fit you so strange. Yeah, I didn't know which one to get. There was one. <laughs> like, it's going to be like your wrists and are just out of it. Well, there was one for a hundred. It's so it's a, it was like a six was for 190 centimeters and seven for 200 centimeters. And I'm 194. So I'm like, do I want it too baggy or too short? So I went too short. Mm, very funny. So I feel like the waist will fit me better. Very so it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be. I don't think it has a, wa- oh, the waist of the pants. Yeah. It's the other the bit's got outfit. like a drawstring, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's move on, Tom. Talk about better things than than you nagging on my shows. Well, I tried to start a new topic. What, what was it? I said you went ghost hunting. Yes. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. Silence. Have you ever been ghost hunting before, Tom? Well, I remember there was this stage before Isaac did his ghost hunting thing where I invited you to go ghost hunting, and you said no. I was keen. I just didn't want to. Go, go ghost to, hunting. You wanted me to go to Bangalangalo Forest and camp there. That's different. That's ghost hunting. That is different. That's the ghost of dead backpackers. That's well, fucking I'm just way saying, scarier. You bitched out and... I'm keen. No, it's d- now I can't do it because Isaac did it. You still can. 
You just don't organise things. You know if you organise anything. No, it's because you said no. <laughs> I said no to Belangolo Forest. Well, then let's not do it. Okay. I'm not doing no half-assed Sydney Rocks tour. <laughs> <laughs> this was in uh, northwestern Sydney. It was called the Australian Heritage Town or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. Where's northwest Sydney? <laughs> exactly. Do you you know west, you know north. Mm. I'll get it up. I'll get out what it's called, guys, just in case in case you want to participate. Mm. I went with friend of the podcast, Azak Butterfield. Butterfield. Um, oh fuck! Now I can't find it. Let's let's skip. Did you did you see it? Guys? The Australiana Pioneer Village. Oh, was yeah. that like one of those old Western towns in type Wilberforce? Vibes? Wilberforce, kind of. But so I got there, and the weird part about it was there was only like one original location room it might have been the church i'm not sure which one it was but the rest they picked up from other old settler towns and then dumped them all together there strange yeah i found it weird that is weird so anyway there was so that one room was haunted that's what i thought but they're like no we picked up haunted town rooms from other places so they made like a collage <laughs> of haunted places and that's what i was, I was that's saying crazy ghost ladies i was like do the ghost spirits travel with them when they're on the truck or do they stay in the original location? They're like, oh, it can, it can differ. It can differ. Some can Some do Some stay either. on the trucks and they're haunting <laughs> through Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fucking people who run ghost tours. They're always like theatrical. They're so... So funny. They drink the Kool-Aid. Oh, absolutely. But they like, know they don't drink the Kool-Aid. Like, That's so like so Thomas silly. Richardson <laughs> lived here many moons ago. You're like, holy shit. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> well, what happens? We rolled there. There was the lady who ran it, but then Isaac had these two ring-in ghost sisters, ghost ghost girls. What? Ghost grannies, he calls them. They hot? No, they're oh. ghost grannies. Yeah. Um, so they rolled in. They've got the same like they've got like a painted Ghostbuster car. They've got like a oh my god! They, it's like a business they do in Newcastle. Right. They're not called ghost grannies. I can't remember what they're That's called. That's a sick name if they were. That'll do. Mm. So they roll in and then the lady who runs there and they like were well, like had a bit of a standoff like, well, I know all the ghosts here. And they're like, well, I know we know all the ghosts in Australia. And I was like, oh, it was really this weird ghost alpha off, but it was a fucking weird, weird tour. Because so you go through and they take you to the haunted. <laughs> we went to, <laughs> we went to the haunted uh, school first, the classroom, Ooh. the classroom. And they put out all these balls that are sort of light up when spirits come near them. Or balls. people. Oh yeah, okay. they're called the actual balls. Right. And sometimes, first they got our Isaac's girlfriend to hold two balls in her hand. Not even as a joke. That's hard. <laughs> I know. And then like the spirits of the classroom and they like call out to them and go, any spirits around? Oh, I think there's some, I feel a presence up the back. What's your name, spirit? What's we don't have a name? Are you, are you a man or a woman, spirit? Anyway, so they pretend to talk to a spirit up the back. Oh, I think he's coming closer. While we sit on like little desks and we've our little spirit wands around us, and we're supposed to talk to the spirits. Mm. Then they had a cane, and um, me and I was that caned each other. That wasn't in it. But that was that was, was fun. Hot? Then they put on an app. Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is legitimately an app. They're like, oh, this is an app. It helps channel what the spirits want to say to us. Angry birds. And <laughs> pretty much, someone had recorded a bunch of spirit type sayings, and then they play them backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. And so it'll be like. <laughs> Danger, I heard danger. Why are you in danger, spirit? It's fucking ridiculous, man. You would have been scared. No. You would have been scared. It was so silly. It was so much fun. Like, help me, ghost grannies. (laughs) I'm terrified. (laughs) Let me have some of them balls. (laughs) Next, we went to the church there. Okay. So, the church there is supposed to be haunted. I thought it'd be funny if I dressed up as a priest. You you love dressing up as a priest. <laughs> I do love dressing up as a priest anyway. <laughs> Hilarious. Isaac found it funny. His girlfriend found it funny. One of the ghost grannies didn't find it as funny. One of them did. I find out later she's very religious. Mm. <laughs> well, 
You're a ghost hunter. You can't believe in. You Jeebus. can't believe in black magic and yeah, regular magic. magic. And yeah, <laughs> that's, what, that's why I didn't think. I thought she would be like real open, but no, no, because I did this one joke. We're doing um a Ouija board. Ouija board. Ouija. Oh, Ouija. Ouija. Yeah. Ouija. No, there's no O. So we're doing a Ouija, <laughs> a Ouija board. Yeah. You got to put one finger on it each. There's five of us if you haven't played and then like the spirits will guide you to yeses and nos and to to letters. They tried to get us to close our eyes. Obviously, I opened them for most of it. One of the grannies is legit just pushing it. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, it is so obvious. The other one has a finger has a finger really lightly on like and she's swapping fingers to show she's not doing anything. And the other one's fucking... There's like veins <laughs> popping in her <laughs> wrist. Bro, and, and sometimes I'd push against her just to shit her. <laughs> She's got like arthritis. She's like saying "ow" oh, while she does it. It was so no, obvious. It was so funny. They would have fucking hated you. Oh, bro, but I didn't say anything because they had their heads bowed. Isaac did too. And I was catching. I was looking at Isaac's girlfriend, going, "She's pushing it." She's like, "I know." Anyway, where 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 it got really awkward? They started going. There's a spirit in the church. Who is it? And they spelled out Thomas, not you, Thomas. A different oh, Thomas. Shit. It was like Thomas Hales or something. I don't know. And um. He's 24, we find out. They go, do you have any questions for Thomas? Guys, oh Thomas no. in the church. I'm going, okay, Thomas, don't you think uh, 24 years of age is a bit old to still be going to church and believe in <laughs> God? <laughs> <laughs> Did she combust? <laughs> she fucking Swear explode. to fucking God. Oh. <laughs> and Isaac and that didn't laugh because he was already oh, a lot more aware funny. than me of the situation. <laughs> it's not like you to put your foot in it as well. Just a really awkward silence. I was like, That's oh, funny. this is this is getting awkward. <laughs> <laughs> he was too old though, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, surely I'm like twenty four, you gotta grow up. I thought I thought everyone would no. laugh. No, they did did <laughs> not laugh. That's what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. I was like, That's one of my best work, Thomas. Um <laughs> Then um yeah, so we did the the for a bit. Then there was another game we did where they put a desk between us and we had to put, what do we do? We put both hands on it and you got to press down and then the desk is supposed to start rocking around or something. It was really fucking sad. Same thing again. They just kept rocking. Yeah, they pushed it. Like, then they left me in the church because they're like, let's pay him back. We're going to leave you with the spirits and you're going to freak out. Mistake. They gave me a, a, a camcorder. Mm. night vision where I could see myself they're like record your thoughts I'm like it's not going to be scary if I can see myself because I'm going to play it up for the camera aren't I mm. and so I started talking to the camcorder I told them the story about uh, the 24 year old who's doing to church had a laugh then I started trying to deep throat my crucifix <laughs> that was around my neck <laughs> Apparently they could listen because I was mic'd oh up. Oh no <laughs> so they heard you bring up the 24 year old thing again <laughs> Were you ragging on him? Like no one laughed at my 24-year-old joke? I didn't rag on him, but I was I brought it up and then I was like, oh, oh. what would be what would be oh the God. best way to anger the spirits right now? I'm like, I oh, know, I'll suck on my I'll try to deep throw like I was like, you to hard cross on, to get down. That would have turned them <laughs> on, the spirits. Uh, and then the last stop was the brothel. We uh, oh, tried nice. to get the Isaac went in and got the spirits for that. He, they um took him in to the broth. I feel like the spirits would know his name. They'd be like, "Thanks, nice to see you again." <laughs> nice to see you again. The <laughs> usual, the usual. Ghost Roosty blacked out his eyes, so Ooh, he wore are eye you mask. To do that? Uh, yep. Oh, not black face. Not, no, 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 no. <laughs> not black eyes. Oh, okay. I'm um, sorry. Like a blindfold, mask. like a blindfold, 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 ear blindfold, whatever they're called. <laughs> ear muffs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those, those two. His ears couldn't see a thing. <laughs> those two. Then they made him lie on the bed and wait. Fuck yeah. But but also instead of just earmuffs, they had this weird, like loud German techno music playing. Like, <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> yeah, so we got to go up with um like French ticklers and a whip and just sort of touch him with it to freak him out. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I didn't get it either. Was the granny like sucking on his dick and shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's my opportunity. <laughs> Oh, it was the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I shot that next. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was like, and then like he didn't. It's Did kind he of get freaked out a little bit because he knows we're over him, messing with him. Like that's scary, not, like not being able to see what's going on. Especially when you got to lie like that and your dick's very exposed, mm. and you just takes one little 
punch. You should have sack whacked him. Yeah, but he might have had his balls tucked into his skin, so True. <laughs> he True. might have been protected. Yeah, yeah, you never know. <laughs> That's strange. So yeah, it was a really um really fun night. But I'll say the funny thing, the other funny thing is he, Isaac takes it seriously. So if you've listened to Isaac's videos or I've seen, his, seen his ghost tours, he's like, guys, there, there's supposed to be a haunted spirit here, blah, blah, blah. Like he just, the way it take, he does it the way you should. Be open to it, mm. treat it respectfully. He didn't realise I would take the piss so much. Of course. <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't. Yeah, but he's he's got a he's got to take him to a journal. He's a host. Mm. Yeah, so I was, a, journal, I was very yeah. much the comic relief. That's funny. So n- you didn't see any ghosts? No. Do you believe in ghosts? Um, not after that. I think I did before, <laughs> but now I don't. Uh, true. <laughs> I don't know. I think there could be some fucked up spirits somewhere. Like Belangelo Forest. Yeah, like there could be definitely some haunted places or some mysterious things. That's but not what it's it, called, it, is it? It wasn't in a fake town that only has one original building, you know what I mean? Mm, mm. And the rest is just fucking shipped in. Like I get more scared when I'm at my place by myself at night. You know what I mean? Than Cause, being cause there. Because you're alone with your thoughts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's not <laughs> <a> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Well, I think everyone does. Like as soon as you... By yourself at night and the TV's not on and you're hearing shit, you're fuck. But they're like, everyone was around. It was funny. Yeah, it sounds funny. You know I'm about the camaraderie. I'm not going to get scared if there's some camaraderie going on. And they're filming. so you're Oh, yeah, so I'll play it up. Playing it up, yeah. But you're not a fan of horror movies. But that's what I was like. If I went to jail and there was cameras in there, I, would be, I wouldn't be scared. I'd be playing it up. Yeah. Yeah, I get Even p- if there were like static cameras, not people. No, yeah, probably not then. Yeah, it's harder. Yeah. But people cameras, like even if I like, the guy, I get hanged. Let's say, I commit a crime in the 18th century. Mm. Like, you gotta get hanged. Usually, I'll be like, oh fuck, this is scary. I wet myself. Whatever people do when they get hanged. But if there's like a camera in front of me, like yo, fucking, I've done this before, choking <laughs> myself with the thing, little wank. The start joke's wank. on you. I'm gonna wank. So this is actually gonna be really <laughs> start good for wanking me. Wanking for him. Do you reckon yeah, anyone's ever bro. done that? Hundred percent. Like, I'm going to wank, so my last moment in, on the earth is an orgasm. That is so smart. That is, And then they'll be like, no, cut him down. He's enjoying this. And, <laughs> <laughs> and that would scar the crowd more than it would scar you. Because mm. that would be like, I saw him in. You get one last come wank. shot on the executioner. <laughs> that's, that's banter, just a little squirt. That is banter. Through the, through the hole of his mask he's wearing. Do you go the cum <laughs> on him or try to pee on him? Oh, I reckon cum. Do you get do you get access to your hands in the front or are in, they tied behind your back? In this wet dream. Yeah. Oh, they're tied behind your back. No, you just have to dream, find your your butt G spot if you oh, okay. if they're tied behind your back. Never there's never, options. I'm yet to find it. Keep searching. Thank you. Well you, I've told you don't use the gerbils. Well, they don't find it. They only find cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You're right. Anyway. Um, so that's fun. Also, girls, you can finger yourself while you get if you got hanged. Don't so. be, don't be disgusting. No, I like to keep <laughs> our female listeners like included. included. How, how could you make like an electrocution style one? Um, well, you got yeah, you got your hands. Well, you get your last meal. I feel like you'd have to do it during your last meal. Mm. So what you'll do, you'd go. I want my last meal to be cake, which is the face of the executioner's mum. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's and so they, they lift it off and he's like, oh, no, not Tracy. Like, yeah, it's Tracy. What's something that would fuck up, like, the electronic vibes? Like, ba- I want my last meal to be battery acid. I don't know. I'm just Flubber. Like, flubber. Yeah, flubber would save you somehow. Mm. Actual flubber. Yeah, right. You bounce around. Yeah. You know, battery acid, okay. No, no, I, I, I get, get what you're saying. You know, like okay. something to... Uh, Wires. What about, like... Rubber. F- fireworks. <laughs> Can I just get a meal of rubber? Because isn't rubber good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, line the insides of rubber. <laughs> oh, classic. Smart. So let's give everyone a Chomsky update. Chomsky update. So uh, if you listened last time, I was we were debating whether we did like a call out video. We didn't want to. We didn't want to antagonize the situation. We just wanted it to be over because we didn't really understand. We kind of wanted to. It made us very angry. It made us very angry, but also it was good to talk about it. Mm, it was good to vent. There was one laugh about how ridiculous. One it was. hilarious comment. We can read that one from the Instagram. I don't remember what it is. Well, essentially, 
Chomsky did a post and it was like, we're deciding which people, um, which guests to have on the show this week. And someone wrote, you should be brainstorming ways to clean a whiteboard. Clean a whiteboard. Yeah. <laughs> and then basically what happened was a few <coughs> more people wrote some shit. And then one of our fans, one of our listeners wrote to, I think, the Chippo Hotel where Frenchie's been performing. And then they were like, well, this is the first we've heard of it because we hadn't told him yet. Like, I was thinking about telling him, but I hadn't. And we're like, oh, fuck, we better yeah, call them so and you talk to, to him. So you had to talk to him. So I talked to him and told him what was going on. And we had screenshots and shit. And we're like, look, this was like... Look, we're getting someone s- wrote on a whiteboard with the whiteboard marker that was next to it that wasn't labeled, turned out to be permanent marker. And now we're getting cyberbullied. And then we cleaned it. And now Frenchie's getting fucking attacked, getting told he's mm. going to get his face punched. Next in. time it's a call out video. Mm. I think uh, two, I think three strikes, it's call out. But all you listeners, it turns out the chick is a bit, um, I think, unwell. So maybe don't don't go message or anything because she was writing some pretty crazy shit to our friend. Well, we will say there are friends of the podcast and enemies of the podcast. When we do, uh, we haven't... Uh, called the armies of the mm. Tom and Frenchie podcast to attack an enemy of the podcast yet. When we do, when we do, <laughs> we want it to be in a funny troll way, like the whiteboard joke. Mm. That's the sort of yeah. that's the sort of vibe the Tom and Frenchie podcast. Because I got sent a quote. The survivors do. I saw a quote. The French tomatoes. Someone called her a gronk slut. And that might be too much. That's too but I didn't much. see a screenshot of that. But I, I, I saw all the screenshots of everything else. So I was like, mm. yeah, we don't we don't use that word as an insult. Mm. We use it as a compliment. That's right. If someone called me that, I would probably like it. A gronk slot? Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, fair. Yeah, <laughs> Look <cool>. at me. <laughs> Player. <laughs> Player's got to play, play, play. <laughs> 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 but but yeah, anyway, that's anyway, that's that it's, drama. It's it's winding down. If if anything happens, yeah, we're over. If anything we're not else happens, it. it'll be a call out video. But nah, it's over. It's over. We we now we'll just settle our beef with Jimmy. Oh, Fallon. by the way, she got she got barred from the event. Oh, did she? Yeah. Nice. She legit got barred. Damn. Damn, dude. Well, damn. That's Woo. classic Chomsky. You got Chomsky. You got Chomsky. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they said to her, and she filled in the blank. She's like, oh, I'm barred. I'm barred. <laughs> I got Chomsky, bro. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp. Mm. Oh, funny. What else has been going on? I've got my list. Um, we're going to do a state-by-state state recap of everything that's happening in Australia in one sentence or left. Tom, Victoria. Lockdown extended. No. <laughs> I thought it was winding down. Oh, well. <laughs> I've said what it's I've said. It's more of a prediction than an actual... I've said what I've said, <laughs> and the facts speak for themselves. Okay. So I guess it's extended. Tasmania. Raping each other's cousins. <laughs> You can't throw me on the spot like this. <laughs> I thought you would just say sex. Uh, I don't. I thought it'd be consensual. Yeah, I started with an R and I had to fill in the blanks. South Australia. Ooh, they uh, church fucking. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a lot of dirty priests over there. Okay, okay, mm. that's mm-hmm. Western Australia. Outback shagging. Outback shagging. Mm. This has been quite an eventful week for each state. There's a lot uh, of sex. Northern Territory. Dingo rooting. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's a lot sex. of sex. There's, there's a theme. There's a lot of sex going Queensland, on in Australia. Frenchie, Queensland, Frenchie, get it away from Queensland. me. Queensland, no, you got the whole state. Oh, it's, it's your thing. It's your um, segment. Cane toad penetrating. <laughs> <laughs> you can Why? just guess the Why rest. not? Uh, New yeah. South Wales. No, we need them all. No, oh, New South Wales. Um, what do we do here? There's nothing funny. What do you say? Tell me. What did Frenchie say? Eating. What? what? Eating. What? what do you do? <laughs> Frenchie's been fucking children. No, that's oh, not okay. what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not what I said. Um, <laughs> and then we got ACT, which is, I guess, politician um, fingering. Well, they're just fucking the the country. Yeah, true. Yeah, raping true. the country with their policies. That's right. Who are you voting for in the election, Tom? Is there an election soon in America? If you really cared, you would register and vote. You're not allowed. Well, <laughs> make a difference. I'm gonna I vote. registered for every country there is, and I vote in yeah, every but election. You're a registered sex offender. That's <laughs> no, I'm a nah. registered voter, Ooh. and I make a difference. I recently voted in the Tanzania elections. Did you? Yes. Who did you vote for? Uh, dictator Dilshan. Dilshan. He was the only one running. That's a pretty good. Yeah, good. he said, "Vote for me, or I will shoot you." I'm like, "No worries, Dilshan." Dilshan, I like that name. 
Mm. I would have voted for him too. But yeah, that's our recap of uh, life on Earth. Bro, Trump does that much illegal shit. It's just kind of like people don't even... It's like... Okay. People don't give a fuck. That's the thing. Like if they were based on... I saw someone say that. If they were based on like facts and knowledge, they wouldn't be Trump supporters. Well, yeah. So he can do anything. But like it's just so much. You're like, oh, well, it's not as bad as the other thing he did. Because like it just came out like from the... There's some report unsubstantiated. If it's substantiated, you think it'd be in jail. You're like, apparently Trump paid a thousand dollars of tax from the years 2015 to 17 or something like that. Yeah, it doesn't surprise. Thousand bucks. Mm. I've paid more than that. I put more than that through the pokies in one night. So, mm. <laughs> and that's tax. That's True. straight to the government. <laughs> um, should we go through some trending news? Pauline Hanson. I'd like to see her swap place with Trump and see if they'd vote for her. Probably. No, she's a woman. But she's hot. Is she? Mm, yeah. Compared to Trump. True. That would be... A, what if you had to watch that? How, you have to watch them have sex or chop off a finger? I'd watch them have sex. I have no problem with watching <laughs> them have sex. I'm very curious. It'd be disgusting, but it'd be quite as... What if it's like a full love session and they're looking each other in the Ooh. eyes and they're just whispering racist things to each other? <laughs> Keep them out. My penis is as hard as a wall. <laughs> It'd be shit like that. And she'd be like, one nation. Yeah. And two nations become one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Please explain. Please explain. Go on. What were you going to say? Uh, some news stories. New, new news. Trending news. news. news Trending news. topics. <laughs> Trending news. I should go on the Twitter trends and we just fucking bang them. Okay. Go I'm on. I'm going to do that too. Do it now. You guys don't even know how much you're going to learn. Someone said they get we get all our news sources from um, the Tom and Frenchie podcast. They said that's the only thing we know about what's going on in the True. world. That's why they're very ill-informed. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm... Uh, I bet um, it's all shit I don't care well, about. Well, you were good and well-informed until I realized but that you didn't like Cobra Kai and it's really thrown me. $750 in federal taxes. That's just Trump, 2016, 2017. Already fucking did it. Boom. And that's... This is hard. Brad Crouch is the number one trending. I don't even know who that is. Peter Crouch's mum. Peter Crouch's mum. <laughs> he's a journalist. What what are, we, what are they saying about him? Oh, he's a football... He's an AFL player. That's why we don't know, guys. We don't know AFL. Allegedly caught with illicit drugs in late night, late night police stop. Okay, what drugs did he have? What do you coke. reckon, Tom? It has to be. It's always coke. Cocaine. In the city CBD. Oh, come on, you got to tell us what drug it is. Cocaine. 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 I think you got to read out loud, Frenchie. Even if you're searching, you got to read out loud. I'm just looking for the word cocaine and it hasn't come mm. up yet. So we're going to have to guess it might have been acid. You might have been having a little pre-match trip. Wow. Post-match trip. What do you reckon drug it wasn't? I'm going to go with opium. How about I go through the stories we've Yeah, because these aren't... These, 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 trending aren't these, these trending ones aren't working. All right. Shaw School Year 12's planned crime-filled muck-up day. Oh, yeah. This was funny. The quote in this title is, Spit on homeless man. <laughs> Good on you guys. A bit of banter. You. That's a bit of banter. A bit of leaving school Get banter. Get home, you fuck. Get home. <laughs> you disgust no, me. No, but when you finish school, you last all 12 years just so you can spit on a homeless man. That's yeah. how it works. Especially when you go to a fancy-ass North Shore yeah, school. Yeah, they... You need to assert your dominance. As soon as you're enrolled, you're allowed to spit on a homeless yeah, man. Yeah, you're allowed to spit on teachers, like but anyone. You've you got to let them know what school you go to. Yeah. You guys spit on them like, what's that for? You're like, I go to a private school. <laughs> They're like, oh, that's fair enough. My daddy said I could spit on you. That's fair enough. Mm, mm. Yeah. Had a, have you ever spat on a homeless person? No, but we did have that prank once. It was called peeing on homeless men. Yes. Remember the Where I dressed up as a homeless Tom person. Dressed this is up true. as a homeless person. This was on the Royal, Royal Stampede. Stampede boys pretending so to pee on him. There's like this big tunnel near Central and I dressed up as a homeless person just laid there. And um, the boys would walk up and use a water bottle and pretend to piss on me. But may I say, they missed out on a great opportunity to just piss on me for real. And that would have been a funnier video. Whoa, it's and I would have thought it was a joke, but they actually piss on me and I would have Oh, a little me. twist. Twist within a that twist. That's good. But yeah, people would stop and be like, you can't piss on him. And Mark would be like, 
but he's homeless. Yeah, Mark was just <laughs> shameless. People were like, oh, they, they have rights. <laughs> Like, and then Mark, that's what Mark just kept saying. Like, but he's homeless. No, no, no. Who cares? Look at him. He's not he even. He still has He's life. still sleeping, yeah. blow. Don't worry about it. What do you want me to walk all the way to the toilet? He's just there. <laughs> he warms him up, man. That was a fucking wild video. So funny. That's still out there. It was one of those ones where you could just do anything if you said it was a social experiment. Yep, yep. Like shitting in the eye of a pensioner. Social experiment. I like that. We should do that one. All right, Shaw School in North Sydney has alerted police to a crime-filled rampage being planned by Year 12 students. Planned, a, so they didn't even do it. Relax. With a leaked document prepared by students detailing how assaults, trespassing, <laughs> drug-taking, and other challenges yeah, nice. would earn points as part of a scavenger hunt. Nice. The plans for Wes- Wednesday night circulated to the year and obtained by Sydney Morning Herald outlines how the school leavers would meet at Waverton Park form teams, get drunk, and travel around the North Shore and CBD, completing tasks tasks in the Triwizard Shornament. Shornament. That's good. That's so clever. The plan would see groups of five or six finish a case of 30 beers in 15 minutes (laughs) before starting the challenge, many of which would breach criminal laws. (laughs) This is so good. The tasks include I'm really proud of these boys. (laughs) <laughs> Suck whack Yeah he did have it Hit the male genitalia Of a complete Random walking past I would fucking Kill <laughs> If a school student Fucking sack whacked me I would beat them To a Exactly I would have to kill if them they've got the balls To do that In their little private school They probably With those the fucking uniform. Straw hats <laughs> those little Straw hats on oh, uh, It would be like One of those Old timey movies Where someone punches you Through a straw hat And the like top Bro. comes off I would backhand them. That's what I would do. Oh, I'll just yeah. do one backhand and then I'd say, what? It'll be like the start of Con Air. It's like, I'm going to prison for a long time for this. I would love to fight five <laughs> private school boys. And I'm not tough, but if they got a straw hat on, you know you're not going to win that fight. Yeah. You can strangle them with their gay little ties. It's just a it's a factual thing. If you're fighting and you've got a straw hat <laughs> and a tie and you're against a dude with a mullet, mullet's going to win. It doesn't matter. Yeah. The instructions also call on students to drop a cap, take an ecstasy or MDMA <laughs> capsule, snort a line, I and rip they, a cone on the half of a bridge. I love how they're going to explain it all for yeah, their yeah, fucking for readers, the readers, for their 65-year-old boomers. What is a, what is a cap? What is take a, a, what? a cap on a chap? A cap on a chap. Ch- is well, this a good, Dr. Zeus? It's good to be sun safe. <laughs> take a cap and put it on. <laughs> put your cap on. Among the other challenges were shit on a train, Break into Taronga Zoo, drink six vodka cruises in six minutes, and skull 700 mils bottle of vodka. That is a bad idea. But that's the thing. It's like, you got to understand, this is all just banter. They're not going to do half of these. You can't skull 700 mils of vodka you can. when you're 17. You can. But no. you just don't live. Skull? Yeah. Yeah. You don't live, they, but you can do it. Not straight. I've seen Exactly, and they're all alive, aren't they? So they didn't do that one. And shit on a train. They trains have anything, toilets. Though. What's so bad about that? They don't have toilets. Trains have toilets. Not Sydney trains. Yeah. What? Yes, trains over like four carriages have toilets. Really? Yes. Where? In the carriages. I didn't know this. They do. You sure you're not thinking of regional trains, not like city trains? Sydney trains go to regionals. They don't just go not to the edge of, of Sydney and stop. Mm. Like, they go to Wollongong, they definitely have toilets. Yeah. But anyway, go on. What are some other ones they get to do? One simple challenge is students get arrested, must go to the police station in cuffs. The school became aware of the plans and interview intervened on Tuesday, notifying police and contacting parents of, and students. A Shaw spokesman said the document appeared to have been genuinely created by enrolled students, and while the school was, deeply est- was still establishing that beyond doubt... It was deeply concerned at the unlawful and inappropriate nature of the activities planned. I think, A, I'd want to know which snitch leaked the document. In and addition, they deserve a sack whack. Mm. Go on. In addition to illegal activities, many of the challenges involve sexual or intimate acts with specific categories of women. Students were urged <laughs> to kiss a girl <laughs> under the age of 15. <laughs> And an, a- no way. and an Asian no, chick. No oh, way. Bro. And have sex no with a way. woman who weighed over 80 kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> is aged over 40 or one who is deemed three out of 10 or lower. <laughs> in, bra- in brackets, unattractive. That is so good. Oh, that is so good. But if you get out, 
a 60-year-old, 100-kilo uh, Asian woman. You can tick it all off at once. And I think you, you find probably the right would woman. in the most brothels in Sydney. <laughs> yeah, surely. Bro, mate, surely. Yeah, the ones we sit out the front of, yeah. Among the dozens of challenges, there are many lawful and less dangerous acts, including... Human pyramids in public places, getting mullet haircuts. Yes. That's embarrassing. Don't do Fucking that. Fucking legends. Group photos with police officers, waxing armpit hair, and taping friends to polls. The tasks were arranged based on the level of difficulties and risk, with the more challenging acts attracting more points. This is incredible. I'm really proud of these boys. Yeah, are you? Can we go back into, can you get the actual scavenger hunt and we're going to tick it off and see how many, uh, well, not see it off, but see if there's any ones they missed because I think they're hilarious. You think it's all right Well, to I want to know which ones they would actually do. I want to look at it and be like, yeah, because some of them are like, you got a team of five, even if you're like a little beard up. I can't read if that. If you're a beard up 18 year old, you're still not going to attempt to skull. Like you could drink a bottle of vodka by yourself, but you're not going to skull it. That's insane. Can we not get it up? I'll find it. Find it in the chat. I'll Google it in pictures. So Frenchie thinks you're a legend for doing this. I do. I'm really proud of you guys. <laughs> you? Well, I thought Mark Up Day, you just did Mark Up Day stuff. I threw some sort of chlorine bombs at people. I'm dressed as dinosaurs, but they're like having a whole scavenger hunt for it. Haven't you heard of a scavenger it's a good hunt? Organ- well, I've heard of it, but I didn't know you did it for Mark Up Day. Did you do one? We did them around that time, scavenger hunts. They weren't so fucking... R- like rapey, but um. Yeah, but isn't this a, isn't this a special one for Mark Update? Like you're leaving Year Twelves, or it's just a fun one for for no well, reason? Well, yeah, it's for Mark Update, but it's just what they've decided. Yeah, to but do. that's not rapey. Oh, the fifteen year old one's pretty sus. Yeah, aren't they like eighteen too? Yeah, fucking hell. You're the one who's saying you're proud of him, bro. Well, not proud of I'm that. I'm proud as- of you. No, I'm Sack not. Sack whacking strangers. I'm not proud of that aspect. Kissing fifteen year old girls. No, yeah, the other stuff's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it up. Okay, if you had to make a scavenger hunt, Tom and Frenchie scavenger hunt, we pl- let's say we play one with our Patreons for the Christmas party. That could actually be fun. Yeah, not that type of shit. Well, let's just do one for me and you. What are we putting on it? Um, fake tanning too, too fake many. Fake tanning your face too many times yeah. so you look like you got black face. <laughs> <laughs> and then going and doing stand-up. See, this is what they don't understand is that they're cutting out all... They're only, like, recording on, like, oh, this one's clickbaity. Like, a lot of these are just harmless little fun. <laughs> but obviously, if they're on the list, they're going to mention it. Yeah, but you can't do all the whole list in one night. Finish an entire family box in 10 minutes. Team F. Family box. Like, I guess, KFC. Maccas. Unless that's a oh. sex thing we don't even know about. you got to fuck the mum, the dad. Yeah, and the a sister, family the box. Bro. Like, you've got to eat out your mum. <laughs> That's fucked. And you're on board with that one. <laughs> um, pop up to a ch- pop up to a chick Snapchat story with an audio message of you something, and it's blacked out. I really want to know what it is. Probably probably wanking. Yeah, probably wanking. Steal a school sign or flag. Harmless. Wax your armpit hair. Harmless. Peekaboo. Eyes open. Hook up. Done that many times. That's hilarious. <laughs> Convince a restaurant to let one member wash three dishes. See, that's good natured banter. No one's has a problem with those ones. Shoey your whole beer. Yes. Possibly the French has influence there. Then there's something blacked out video. I don't even know what that one is now. That one was fuck a dolphin. Sack whack. Win fifty dollars on the slaps. This is just it's just a stitch up, like no, out of a list of 100 things, yeah, 10 are going to be a bit far. But 90 are really nice. Why can't they focus on that? That's still 90%. Rail a cap. <laughs> Get with a blowy. Jump off Balmoral Wharf, fully clothed. Brackets video. See, jump off Rocky Point Island. Jumping in the water. It's encouraging water activities. Get 10K views on a TikTok made the night of scav. Do you have a problem with that? Yep. And it's got to be of you putting a firework in a random spot. Yeah. <laughs> That's the... Human bowling ball. Nang while ordering in Cremorne McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like that one. Nang while buying something at Mossman 7-Eleven. How much nanging are they doing? Nang, nang. Scream and moan at Mossman sellers until you get kicked out. <laughs> 
Tackle. Tackle off the Omegio at Spitbridge is all North Sydney stuff. But I really like this. I really think it's a... Well, it's got the Frenchie seal of approval. Well done, guys. Eyebrow slit. Group photo at Shaw. Beers in hand. Plus 35 if you're naked. Silly salmon. They got the silly salmon too. Oh, I really like it. Sorry, guys. I'm just really... I'm just really proud of the boys. <laughs> Right, the next story is one that I really enjoyed that Frenchie hasn't seen yet. Oh. But um, so this article is called Possibly Worst Ads Ever Made. Brisbane car dealership unveils ads so bad customers want refunds. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to show Frenchie these. Oh. Sorry, one sec. But basically, they've obviously trying to get on like TikTok trends and the dance moves, but they're trying to sell cars at the same time. And it's obviously like a new marketing officer's idea. What are you doing? Drinking water and letting you talk. You're really sucking on that nozzle. Guys watching, I'm so sorry. He was really having a fucking moment. His tongue went in the nozzle somehow and he's like... (laughs) He was sucking it off like a North Shore schoolboy. It was horrible. (laughs) (laughs) All right, here's the first one. (laughs) Master Monk. Pigs to save his crack and kills his no. son all month. Four massive no. pigs, how will you keep up? Just drive away pricing this master month. This master month. This master no. month. No. No. That is the so worst thing that, I've ever heard. Do, do, do that Jason Derulo yeah, shit. The sirens dance. But that's just the first one. There is do, do, more. Do, do. No. How there do you is. not learn from that one? We're hitting every beat this master month, so don't get left behind on these blockbuster savings. Oh no. Is this <laughs> They're doing another? the Macarena to each other. Oh no, it was a TikTok dance. We're clearing floor stock at drive away prices over four massive sale weekends. So book a test drive with us this master month. Holy fuck. Holy fuck it's in so a fuck. funny. It gets worse, bro, I swear. You didn't think our master month savings stopped in their sales department, did you? I told you we're getting bigger and better. For only $150, drive away with our half price <laughs> Mason Month bundle, including a wheel alignment, a fuel additive, end of protection kit, and air conditioning sanitization treatment. The team to take advantage of this Mason Month at the service center. So get up, pull us today, and book it in. Okay, we need, we need to try to yeah. dis- describe so, yeah, it to our, our listeners. So they're basically just saying what you heard, but they're also doing weird TikTok dances. And it looks like one of them's not talking. It looks like she's doing sign language to explain the other one. You know in like ABC News how they have the person yeah, to the side yeah, doing yeah. it? That's what it looks like. But the one who's talking also is doing the dance. Yeah. So... Blah, blah, I'm walking into Mazda, and then just, yeah. what the fuck? It gets worse when it's obviously dudes who have been stitched up, and they're like working the fucking mechanic As they're shop. doing the sales pitch, they're doing some TikTok dance, and watch it's this, so watch fucking this embarrassing. So this guy has obviously been roped into it. and he's, he's probably, he's just simping, he's trying to get that Mazda pull. Ready? It's nice to, nice to know you, let's do it again. Oh, no. How else can we help you? Oh, no. Drop your car off for the day. Take advantage of our complimentary loan oh, cars no. and valet service. Are you all right? Christian made coffees to keep the day going. Are Mobile you? service and home pickup so you don't have to leave your house. Oh, oh, you know that took him a hundred takes, bro. Oh, no. It's so good. Blink if you need help. So She's hot. good. She's the one who obviously no, organized the one. it. The other one. The one next door. But yeah, that, she was all right too. Oh, they're going to sell cars. But yeah, it's like so oh, cringe, so guys. Funny. Holy fuck. You can Google that. It's called Worst Mazda Ads. Uh, Brisbane. Google, oh. worst Mazda ads, oh, Brisbane. so good. I reckon we should start TikTok dancing I while think you do your um, stand-up We should routine. do a Mazda ad. Hmm? I think we should help them out. It's easy to make fun of bad Mazda ads. Do you think you can do a better Mazda ad? Of course. Ad? I think we need to do it. Mm-hmm. Do you want to do it in the form of an ad or a song? Well, it's got to be... A, jingles is my favourite type of ad. Jingle, baby. So what was the name of the Mazda shop? I'll jingle, do. This jingle, is a free jingle one for you guys. You obviously need help. I think we can do a jingle some. song to sell some Mazda cars. You're welcome, guys. All right, we're so going to uh, help you out. Um, Mazda month bundle at a uh, Mazda Grand Prix, Mazda Aspie, Aspley, Aspie, a bit Aspie. Aspie. I think I'm a they bit were Aspie. a bit Aspie. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most Aspie ad I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, all right. So is it in Brisbane? 
Uh, uh, Brisbane well, Mazda, that'll do. Aspie. Aspie. Um, can we get... I would like a... I think we need a little jingle what, what song. You, uh, Just type in... Jingle. Jingle karaoke or some shit like that. Mm, that sounds like it's not going to be a thing. I don't know. Jingle... Uh, jingle ad. All right. Yeah, this know. isn't going to work. We'll just type in fun music karaoke. And we'll fucking figure it out. Fun music instrumental. Yeah, instru- it's Sesame Street music instrumental. Some shit like that. No, I don't too late. Know. All right, here we go. Yep. Oh, we just need some music behind it. That'll do. All right, you ready? Come down to Mazda. <laughs> what is it? Mazda Month Bundle. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Mazda Month Bundle. All right, do the TikTok dance, guys. Do the TikTok dance. All right, guys. Mazda Month Bundle. Come down to Aspie Mazda, where we've all got Asperger's and we'll be happy to see you. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, have you got, have you got your WAP on? Get that Get that wet ass pussy down to Mazda oh, yeah. in Aspie Because you'll be driving out the door With your wet ass pussy and our <laughs> great prices Dancing, we're dancing Come see us, Mazda Oh, nice Yeah, yeah G'day, Bruce the owner here Doing my little TikTok dance And I'm doing the dance And I'm come selling the prices And I'm doing the dance And the Mazda And the Macarena And the in the ball of Pokemon and the watermelon and and we got the wheels and we got the car and and the silly salmons and we got the shore boys they're gonna spit on a homeless person for every time you buy a Mazda so if you want a Mazda and you you want to see a homeless man get spit on come on down to Aspie Mazdas come on down keep going I think now I've got my wife coming in she's uh she's just seen Karate Kid Cobra Kai and she's going to do some karate type selling of, of the Mazdas. I'm the wife. <laughs> I've just watched the shitter show on TV. No, that's not. Episode no, she's 3 joking. was absolute dog she's shit. She's joking. you got to give it more. these cars are not dog shit. These cars are not. These are Mazdas. Yeah. And that's short for a Maz- amazing Mazdas. <laughs> okay, now I say a price and you got to go whoa and do the whoa everybody. 32,000 drive away. Free power steering. Turning good steering wheel. Three tailpipes. <laughs> I don't know anything about cars. Three tailpipes. That's good. That's a good deal, bro. <laughs> what do you need three for? Oh, man. You thought one was good. That was actually a better ad, though, if you guys could see the other ones. <laughs> You, what? The first one was the worst. With oh, no music bro. behind it. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Very funny, though. Very you know funny. that's not what they were going for. You know how some ads are like, we were trying to be bad. Look they how were, look how in touch we are with the TikTok culture of today. Mm, these are going to go huge on TikTok. You we don't even scaven- know. Do a scavenger hunt next time, Mazda. Yeah, that's how you do it. Do, it should be the Mazda been- scavenger hunt. And like, you tick it off, you get a free Mazda. So I was like, run down. Mm. A stop go lady Well the ad should have just been like Spitting on a homeless man Like come down to Mazda <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then next thing They're fucking an Asian woman You know that would, uh, You could sell that But you go you go, you go Okay sure, sure boy walks up Spits on a homeless man And then there's someone behind him And he goes Oi Spitting on homeless people is Is bad You know what's good Our prices I like that And you can do that for everything on the list Hmm Having a sex with a three out of a ten, three out of ten is bad. Is mm. it though, Tom? They need love too. I don't even know why that one's bad. To be honest, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's here's a great. Uh, this is a news story you can tell around the water cooler tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Police bust condom recycling facility in southern Vietnam, and just have a think about that condom recycling. They're not melting them down. They're not. I think they're just rinsing them out. Yuck. No. Rolling them back up. No. Roll them up, boys. No. Authorities in Vietnam uncovered a vast number of used condoms being recycled and stocked for sale following a raid on an apartment on Saturday. Imagine that being your job. How do they get them? You got you to tip out all the cum and then just give them a rinse. But how do they get the condoms? <sighs> I don't know. That's a great question. That's a great question. Like brothels? Brothels, I guess. 
because where else is there like a consistent? It's not like a tampon disposal thing where they all guess, go in the like same place. Uni boat. accommodation, but even then mm. they don't really use condoms. No, chlamydia is rampant. Rampant. Sure, grandma. According to local market monitors, nearly three hundred and twenty-four thousand used condoms, equivalent to three hundred and sixty kilos, were recycled at the facility and would be sold on the market later. That's a lot of condoms. 324,000. Wow. I want to know, were they all resold as condoms or did some get other uses like like the plastic mm. around a cucumber? That's fucking <laughs> My cucumber's awfully slimy. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I accidentally eat that because I forget it's on. Really? Yeah, because I eat cucumbers <laughs> from the middle when I'm being alpha. That's an alpha move. That's a disabled move. Is it? <laughs> But you know how you eat kiwi fruits from the middle sometimes? When you're no. like, I'm going to eat the whole thing anyway. You eat them with the skin on, don't you? Yeah, don't you? No. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was wondering if the condoms, are they only ever going to be condoms if you're recycling them? How many times do you have to wash them out? Here we go. The used condoms then underwent a process including washing, drying, and reshaping, reshaping. with a dildo in hy- unhygienic conditions oh. before being put up for sale. Fuck, man. But... Uh, so many questions. Mm. So many questions. Did they put them in the dishwasher? I wonder how they washed them. To make it cheaper? To make it like a viable business strategy? Condoms are pretty expensive. And that's a very hand-operated... Yeah. Because you can't just chuck... Like, you really need what, to... By hand, you got to put them on a dildo? And then how long do you leave them on a dildo? How many dildos do they have? Because dildos are expensive. It made it sound like one dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a double ender to make it maximum rolling time. What in the action? And then I've you heard roll, of them, and then you roll rolls, them back up. That, that's Vietnamese roll. <laughs> that's what they do now. They just roll up condoms. <gasps> oh. Maybe that's what... You know when you get a Vietnamese roll and there's that, like, questionable paste they put on the roll first? That's all you think cum. that's what it is? That's all the old cum. Yeah, they the probably condoms. reuse the cum too, don't they? Well, you They're would. not waste. You don't want to kill horses to make glue. You just use cum. That's what clad glue is. Who's getting into that business? That's a hustle. And you know... Fuck. I would think of a lot of different business ideas before I went to that. What's What would be great? Like, okay, the guy who's got into that business mm. obviously tried it himself first. Mm. So he yeah. rooted a girl. D- goes into the bin, mm. picks the condom up when he's leaving. She's like, what are you doing? He's like, waste not, what not. Goes home, has a shower. Condom still in his pocket. Just pulls it out, washes it. He's like, fuck, that'll probably work again. Maybe he was one of those guys who fills it with water to see if there was holes in it. Yeah. And he's like, I've already rinsed it. Put it on again. Put it on again. Do you ever do posh wanks? No. Yeah, they're pretty fun. I've heard of them. Yeah, where you put one on and give it yeah. a little go. Mm. Yeah, if you haven't tried that, guys, Fancy. posh wank. You wank, but you have one finger out because you're posh. And you have one finger out. Yeah. It's a sure grammar wank. <laughs> yeah. And you spit on a homeless man <laughs> while you're doing it. But Frenchie likes that you spit on homeless people. No, I like, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, but Just wanted to check. No, if your father earns over 200000 a year, you get you the can, right. You can You get the right. Yeah, that's true. If that's you wear true. a straw hat, you're allowed to spit. Mm. 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 That's fair. No, that is fair. You're right. That'd be um. Next time we s- we gotta go. We should go to school, Grandma. What for? No, we go hang outside <laughs> the school and show our balls, and we're like, "Come sack whack us, guys." That's a terrible is idea. Is it not a good idea? You'd be like, "Oh, sack whack me." Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we should do? We should go around Sydney with a bus. Mm. Picking up all the homeless people, <laughs> and then we'll give them a lecture. Say these cunts wanted to yeah. spit on you guys. Let's go get them. Go, and then just we'll just release a busload of homeless at North Shore. <laughs> just let them walk let around them just punching spitting. cunts. It goes, are they spitting oh, or are yeah, they punching? No, no, mine went a bit far. <laughs> Spitting's probably fair. That would be such a good fight scene with just a homeless army. And spitting. A homeless army versus Shaw, Shaw Grammar Boys. That would be a good fight. That's a good movie. I don't know who would win. Mm. True. That would be a good fight. Depends what type of homeless you find. Depends what time of the day you got them too because mm. homeless can be sleepy or if they're just like yeah, recently the, meffed up. Yeah, if you get the <laughs> sleepy or the meth, that's, yeah. Like if they're weak, if sometimes they're weak. Or you sometimes get homeless with the dogs too. Oh, and yeah. you don't want to fuck with those dogs. Go skipping. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that'll be good. That's going to be good. And, w- and we don't know what time of the day we got the short grammar kids. If they've drank their five beers, <laughs> True. <laughs> six cruises in six They'll minutes is actually a lot. That was, is a lot. I was going to make fun of it. I'm like, fuck nah, that. that's a lot, bro. That's a lot of sugar. That's diabetes. That's also just a lot of standard drinks in six minutes. Oh, it's like six standard drinks. In six minutes, that's a lot, bro. Yeah, fair. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> no, I was like, how many is a shot? I'm like, oh, that's like six shots. <laughs> that's a lot. I'll tell you what they should use condoms as. Imagine if you bought a pair of gloves, but realized <laughs> that each finger was a condom mm. and they just made some kind of base and you had like condom gloves. That's great. That's great. Bro, the world is dying. The environment is dying. We need to start reusing condoms. Mm. That should be what we stand for. We don't stand for much on this podcast. Oh, that makes me feel sick just thinking about what it. What else can you use them for? Water bombs? Oh, I've yeah. made a video about it, actually. You can use them for water bombs. Um, Like a tie. A condom tie. <laughs> stretch, it, <laughs> stretch it out. Okay. Like those exercise bands people exercise use. Bands. So you don't need weights. You just kind of... Bracelet. Mm-hmm. Uh, mittens mittens <laughs> um if you're a, like a lunch lady you can use it as the hairnet that's so silly hmm. any other any other stories hit me oh surely surely oh guys delivery has got uh 20 percent 20 percent off <laughs> I don't know. we're not sponsored by anyone at the moment are we no i think we might have ad reads but i'm not sure uh also guys um p.o box coming possibly next week we brought yeah. the wrong form. We tried. We, we tried. We teased the story earlier in the piece. <laughs> yeah, we tried, and then the guy we goes, walked out of the post office. You and can't like, do that. You, you need, need this. You it's need like, the bloody oh, form, God. mate. We're like, but my father's went to Shaw Grammar. I'm a legacy. He's <laughs> like, no, it doesn't matter. You need bloody form, the right form. This and Tom's like, but I printed off this form. He's like, well, that's the wrong one. Then he spat on me because he thought I was you. homeless. Yeah, that sucked. This story sounds good if the internet just speeds up. Just a tad. Just a little tad. Uh, So the story was basically a priest. Okay. No, women can't be priests, can they? Oh, I think they let them now. Pastor quits church. women? That's a good question. Mm, Pastor. That's pretty sexist. Yo. Church is sexist. Oh, they're... they're, There's a lot of things I never even thought about that women aren't priests. I never even thought about that. Because you never like mother. You even like... Mother reader. They and can only be nuns. And they never... Like, but then I guess men can't be nuns, so it works They never out. play with the idea that Jesus might have been a woman, do they? They never... Uh, when it was pronounced Jessus. Jessus, yeah. I don't know. Pastor quits church to become a stripper and says she's never been happier. Uh, I would like to see this video. A former pastor gave up the pulpit. Is that how you say that? To the become pulpit a, for a pole. Nice, the pulpit. The pole To become a stripper instead and says she's never been happier. Yeah, fuck yeah. Imagine the difference between doing a boring old sermon, reading mm. out of the Bible. Reading. And fucking dancing to pony. Just fucking dancing. Squirting lubricant yeah. out of your nipples on stage. Yeah, just dancing. Feeling free. Just fucking smoking You're a making ciggy people out of happy. your mood. You You're know? making people happy. Yeah, that's... Stripper's one of the if most selfless jobs If you were a stripper, what would your song be? We well, get more than one, but you like you're saying like your prime theme time. Song. Yeah, you're saying like here comes you're saying Frenchy. Prime time. Yeah, well you've already got Pony. Comes out. I'd probably go Shuey. Your own song. Yeah, um, that's a you bit, know I'm pretty. That's a bit narcissistic. Uh, I'll it? try to get some streams up while I'm doing it, <laughs> and then I can do a Shuey as my thing all over my titties. Oh, that's pretty good. Or my dick, I guess. No, but you're a female stripper. In this oh, I'm a female stripper. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, over oh, my you titties. Know that? Okay, okay. Yeah, maybe. Shuey, because like I. That would get the boys you fucking going. Shuey, you're at a strip club. You're hearing Pony like, uh, hack. <laughs> you're hearing a sexy, you sexy thing. I'm bringing sexy back. Hack. You hear Shuey? But wait, here's a twist in your Shuey. Fuck you, I'm doing a Shuey. And Instead I'll, of like drinking one of those rock beer, chicks. you fill it up with that wet ass pussy of yours and you scull it on stage. Yeah. <laughs> bro, if it's my pussy, yeah, I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, you do that? Yeah, bro, I'll have Just nice gush pussy into juice. a shoe. Yeah, fuck yeah, it. If okay. I could, would I have to? I might have to pre-gush you. Yeah, I don't know if I can gush on command. Gush is a gross a word. Gush. I just realised I'm grossing myself out over here. Sorry to those listeners. <laughs> if it hits my gross side, it's people are vomiting while listening. No, there's nothing gross about gross about a gush. Mm. 
Yeah. If it's done, ta- it's a tasteful gush. A tasteful gush. Okay, we should have. We should have. So, what's your stripper song going to be? Mine would be something. I want it like you wouldn't expect it, like "Sounds of Silence" by Simon and Garfunkel, <laughs> like something people aren't expecting. Do full interpretive Hello dance. Hello, darkness, my old friend, and I'm just twerking. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I've come to talk and my booty's clapping to the beat. Or you could be like in a black sheet and you can do only show oh, certain parts I of your that. titties. There's a every small now and then. window and like... You've got windows you everywhere, get... occasionally you open oh, them. Oh, that is fucking good. <laughs> and then every third window is either Simon or Carfuckle <laughs> waving. <laughs> I like that. Uh, so what about... If you were a dude stripper, what would your song be? Because I'd have different song mm. if I was a dude stripper. I'd consider Gay Bar by Electric Six. Yeah, that that's gets, a good. That that's gets a the boys f- fucking going. Gay Bar, Gay Bar, Gay Bar, bar. Mm-hmm. and I'd just be fucking a dude on stage. <laughs> oh, so no stripping. <laughs> no Mine's stripping. a sex joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. It yeah, no. Why not? Yeah, fuck. Why not? Fuck. Do you reckon you could do in one of your shows? You're like. Come see Frenchie. It's a comedy show, but it's also a strip show. Try and get hens parties in there and stuff. So you're like telling mm. jokes, but once in a while you're getting a nut out. Um, yeah, no. Nah. No? Yeah, nah. Nah. Not feeling it? Nah, I don't think. You don't really want hens parties at a comedy show. But you want them at a strip show, and yours yeah, you is want both. Them at a stri- it's not. <laughs> yours is going to be both. You're doing Frenchie the strip show. I'd I'd probably strip to our Mazda. Our Mazda yeah. ad. That'd be a good strip. That is a catchy beat. M A Z D A C N N D. Did you spell it wrong? M A Z D A something. Is that mouth up? I think you spelled it right. All right. What's what's next? We got a few more. Oh, these are all good. Yeah, you reckon? Oh, so yeah, you don't need to do that one. You said they were good. Well, it was like a Shaw Mum hashtag. Like they started because mm, one, one Shaw Mum taking on like the Shaw Boys, the rich about mums the in Sydney. Uh, Someone uh, did it. One of the mums did an actual post about how she's proud to be a Shaw Mum, and then everyone sort of ta- starts taking the piss. Like, about was it in response to the scavenger? I hunt? believe it must have been. Right. So she's like, well, it might be. I mean, more in response to the knock that the private school boys got. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. See, look, they're, so they're taking the piss. I'm a hashtag proud Shaw mom and my little Merrick is a good boy. Every Sunday, he gives alms to the public school children out of the window of our BMW. Almonds? Alms, it just said. A-L-M-S. Do you know what alms are? No. Me neither. That's what I was hoping you know. that's too smart for us. Damn. Look up Google. What is an alm? I don't want to know. I like not knowing. That's why I'm a public school boy in their private school. Um, but yeah, so it's all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so I'm glad I I'm glad I didn't I did skip that story and you yep. went back to it. Sorry, <laughs> go on, <laughs> go on. Second time you bullied me this episode. <laughs> well, you deserve it. Yeah. Well, I skipped it well, and you I'm went gonna back. Gu- and I'm gonna gush on you. And then I skipped the last now one. Now I as know well. you don't like that. Okay, are we done? Are we? I reckon we do some Matt's chats. You got any of them? Uh, I don't think he's got any for oh, us. Oh, let's go. We, we haven't done this in a while. Last, last week. Let's um, let's look up and see if Five there's any Five-star reviews. reviews. Leave us a review on the podcast app. Uh, yeah, sometimes people like send them to our inbox and shit. And, no, we need them. And on we just forget. So you need them on the iTunes app. I don't know. I don't know how you do it, but... um iTunes it. app. That's where we read them from. If do, do, do. I don't think you can do, review do, 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 our do, Spotify do, 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 one do. if you can do it, but I don't think you can. I don't think you can either. All right, let's see what we got. This is from Chode. Chode. Good name. And, um, oh no, that's the title. And <laughs> his name is Guns and Boners. Oh, that's, that's classic. Good. That is classic. Hey guys, loving the podcast, but could you ask Tom if he could stop hitting on my 10 year old sister? Hashtag Tom's a pedo. Hashtag Tom's got a big head. That's a classic. You can ask, but... Um, <laughs> That's what I was like when you were like the Shaw Grammar's scavenger hunt. They had to hook up a girl under 15. Mm. And you were like, ooh, 14. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brain doesn't go that... Yeah, it's too, That's why too you young. found that gross. This one says, I like this, except the song's usually good, but I had an internal burn listening to these ones. Then the emu voice brought it back. Keep some of it up, champs. Keep I li- some of it up. I like that. Like it's like selective. Keep some of it up. Yeah. Not all of it. Some of it needs to go. Do you want to do a song to him just really bad, just to annoy him? 
Yeah, what's something fun? Sounds of Silence. That'd be really hard to do. That's really hard. Go on. Definitely worth the wait. Hey, lads, been... Oh, this looks long. There we go. Hey, lads, been watching since episode one and am currently up to episode 69 with the Racka Racka Twins. <laughs> and it has to be my favorite episode so far. Very... De- it's polarizing. It it's it polarizing. The freestyle rapping was so good to listen to and loved it. I know you guys made it to ep 100, so I'm keen to eventually watch that one. Keep making hilarious and great content. Much love. Hashtag Tom is a gorgeous specimen. That's a rare, nice hashtag for me. Normally yeah, that's like really Tom good. Ray no, I like daughter. that. Keep, yeah. keep up the nice ones. I want to say that it's uh, never too late to do a review. I know you, some of you might be like, fuck, I've been listening for 103 episodes and we still haven't done one. Mm. They're going to be like, better not, not say anything. We're not going to make fun of you. For it was not giving us review. It was funny because I put us in for an entrance for um, the Australian Podcast Awards, mm. and it's one of those ones where okay, let's choose. I think I was allowed five segments, like five clips from different episodes, and it's like they're all pretty loose. Yeah, and so that's it'd be out. interesting to see who listens to them. <laughs> and whether they're like, this is funny, or they're like, how is this allowed? <laughs> it's not allowed. We just don't give a fuck. He's back, boys. Hey, boys. He's back on TV again. You still get paid for that? Hashtag royalties. Hashtag Tom Zepetto. My Mac is out. Congratulations to Tom. His Mac is at his back. And the ad you heard about where he got to ride a jockey. The jockey got to ride him. Has been in the Sydney Morning Herald (laughs) today. So if you've got that paper lying around, look through it because there's a picture of my giant head standing on a little English boy. You got to pop it on the Instagram and Facebook to that tonight. He's going to pop that on. Mm, It's it is fucking hilarious. So head to Tom and Frenchie on fucking Instagram, Instagram or Facebook. Okay, sixty nine out of ten. This podcast is as gay as AIDS, but in a good way. (laughs) That's That's that's, always a good good way. Yeah. Tom claims he doesn't use Snapchat. And then it is said that only 14-year-olds use the app. So I think Tom is lying about the Snapchat, <laughs> considering his track record. I feel like we've read that one before. Okay, we're back. We're back. Mm. We're back. No more Thanks, newbies. Guys. Thank you very much. Almost at, if you're not on our Patreon yet, think about going over there, patreon.com slash Tom and Frenchie. We're almost at $1,000 a month, so we're going to release merch. We're just waiting on some cunt to rub Yeah, he, he, he's ghosting us. We're getting ghosted well, by uh, our merch guy. That's uh, I think our merch is fucking funny. I was thinking the other day, what we need to get is fucking bumper stickers. Oh, that's cool. Because like, that's where you can promote the show. And then, mm. yeah, I was I was looking at some bumper stickers. I was like, fuck. My merch good. guys do good stickers. Yep. But Done. We, yeah. Maybe. Just like listen to Tom and Frenchie or something. Yeah. Um, also, uh, we should say with the Patreon money, we don't actually... S- pay ourselves any of it everything goes back into the podcast yes. we spend it on a lot or pay xander to, uh, he buys a lot of eggs yeah or we spend it on like the the hypnotist or stuff like that yeah. so don't don't, don't think we're just gonna go take it down the pokes or buy a couple bags with it we're not gonna do that yeah it's not mm. huh? <laughs> <laughs> fuck that no we don't we don't have any money um no, yeah no, cool yeah yeah, cool. I think that was everything we needed to say. Thanks for listening, kids. And um, thanks for listening, adults, adults too. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. thanks for letting your kids listen too. And now for Frenchie's famous catchphrase to send you on your way. Come to Mazda, walla walla, bing bang. <laughs> <laughs>